what's up everybody welcome back to unparalleled universe for another action figure review slash showcase and today we're taking a look at the brand new universal monsters the wolfman by jada toys and huge thank you to the folks over at Jada Toys for sending this out to me to review. I'm super excited about this figure. I was already excited about it, but now I'm even more excited because of how much I enjoyed the Invisible Man. So, yeah, I'm very hyped up to take a look at this guy. I know he's going to be amazing. But let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the packaging. Up top, it does say Universal Monsters. Down low, it does say The Wolfman. And then you are able to see the figure through the window along with the awesome accessories. On the side of the box, we get a look at some more classic Universal Monsters. On the back, we get a look at The Wolfman and The Invisible Man, who I've already reviewed, so make sure to check that out. Down here, we get a bunch of bullshit. Over here, not a whole lot going on. And that's about it for the packaging. It is collector-friendly and all that good stuff. But enough about the box. Let's go ahead and get the wolfman out and take a look all right so here we have the wolfman right out of the box and as you can see jada toys once again did an amazing job this figure looks awesome he's got a bunch of great sculpting work some nice detail some cool accessories and some really great articulation and obviously we'll take a look at that when we you know cover the articulation but right out of the box i was very impressed with the range on a lot of the joints so this figure has been a whole lot of fun to play with and he just looks amazing he does have that old school kind of goofy <laughs> look to the head sculpt but that's very accurate to the old movie so i think it's awesome check him out man <laughs> they really did a great job and he's got a lot of nice sculpting work too a lot of great texture some good paint work and just overall a really impressive figure so i'm very happy with this guy but let's go ahead and get in close and take a look at the details on him and I think they did a really good job with the paint and the sculpting on the Wolfman. Starting off at the head, as you can see, we have some really nicely sculpted fur and hair all over the place. Look at the detail in there. That looks really nice. And I love how the ear is kind of buried within all that fur. <laughs> that looks good. And I like how we have different shades of brown to bring out all that sculpting work. It looks really nice. Check that out. So yeah, the details look really good. And I love the way the face looks too. I like that we could see the cheekbones and the bridge of the nose so you could tell that there's like an actual human face under all that fur. Very similar to what they did with the mummy, you know. You could see the facial features underneath the costume kind of, so that's nice. The eyes are very well painted, the nose looks good, the mouth looks good. Yeah, this is a great looking head sculpt. It feels very accurate to the way that Wolfman is typically portrayed, especially like in the more classic movies. So yeah, that looks good. And then moving down to the body, as you can see, the shirt does have some uh, nice detail and nice sculpting work. I do wish that there was a little bit of paint work on here, maybe like a lighter shade of green to bring out some of the details, or like, you know, a dry brush of a lighter shade of green. I think that would have been nice on top of the dark color. Uh, but it does look pretty good. You can see that they put a lot of work into the sculpt because there's texture all over. Like the, sh the whole shirt is completely covered in like a cloth-like texture. And there is a little bit of variation of color. You can see that it gets a little dark within the green. So that's cool. But I think just a little bit more to bring out some of the details would have been nice. I think a light dry brush over the shirt would have been uh, pretty good. I think it would have brought out some of the, the sculpting work that we see here. Like a light green or a light brown or something. But yeah, it does look very nice. And then moving on to the pants. As you can see, the pants have like different variations of color you know you've got like some light blue some dark blue some blacks I kind of wish that carried on oh I wish that carried over into the shirt as well I think they did it a little bit better on the pants but they both still look really good but check out all the sculpting work there he's got his belt with the little uh, silver piece or not silver probably not silver right little metal pieces on the belt and then check out the uh, the hand with a bunch of nice sculpted fur the nails look good yeah, that looks dope. And then moving down to the lower leg, you can see his furry ass hairy feet <laughs> with his big old toenails. One thing that's kind of crazy is the uh, bullshit information on the bottom of the feet. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of an eyesore if you're looking at the bottom of the feet. But luckily, they have it like in the best place possible where you're not really likely to see, you know. But yeah, man, I think this is a really great looking figure with a bunch of really nice sculpting work and some pretty good painting work as well. I love the way the head sculpt looks. Um, I think the clothing looks good. The hands and the feet look really nice. So yeah, I think they did a really great job sculpting this guy and I really love the way he looks. And then for accessories, the Wolfman does have some pretty cool stuff, including two different heads. Here's the first one. It's the one that we were just looking at. I think it's very well done. A lot of good stuff going on here. The alternate head is very similar to the first one. 
it's just a little bit more angry. He's got a more angry facial expression. And I think I like this head sculpt the most out of the two. And then he does come with two different sets of hands. First off, we have his like open dramatic clawed hands. And then we have a set of gripping hands that could be used to hold on to the cane that he comes with. And the cane does look really nice. As you can see, we have the wolf sculpted on the handle here. And I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to make out what's going on right there. But for the most part, this is a good looking uh, sculpt on the handle here. And then the rest of it is just black. And then we have the silver tip at the end. Uh, but I'm happy that they included this. This is a cool accessory for sure. And then he does come with the bear trap. And I think this is pretty cool too. I like that it closes and that it has a chain. Uh, but I do wish that it had a more, I don't know, like a less plastic looking kind of vibe. It just, it looks like a piece of plastic with a little bit of paint on it, you know. I think they could have done a little better on this. Uh, but I'm happy that they included it. And it'll definitely work for some photos and stuff. And I like that it closes so you could clamp it onto the Wolfman's leg, you know. And then now for some size comparisons, here we have the Wolfman alongside the Jada Toys Creature from the Black Lagoon and the Jada Toys Invisible Man. And if you're at all curious in Jada Toys and you're contemplating picking up one of the monster figures, I highly recommend any one of these three. All three of these are awesome. It just depends on what character you like the most, but you can't go wrong with any of these. They're all really, really dope. And then now here we have them alongside the Toy Biz Marvel Legends, the Living Zombie, and the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Werewolf by Night. And I almost wanted to pop the head off the Werewolf by Night figure and see if I could get it onto the Wolfman figure. But I was looking at it and it seems like I would have to modify the head completely. And I don't think I want to destroy this figure just to do that head swap. But I think it might be kind of cool. So I might be on the hunt <laughs> for another one of these. And then here we have them alongside the Mezco 112 Collective Orlock and the NECA Ultimates Ghostface from Scream. And then next up we have them alongside the NECA Halloween 3 Season of the Witch Skeleton Trick or Treater. And then on the opposite side we have the NECA Sam from Trick or Treat. And then next up here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. And then here we have the Wolfman alongside the NECA Frankenstein and the NECA Wolfman figure. And, you know, seeing these two figures side by side, I really do think the NECA one looks a lot better. It's got more detail. It's more screen accurate. It's got more accessories, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to fun factor and articulation, the Jada Toys version is head and shoulders <laughs> above the NECA one. Uh, but, you know, for that reason, that's kind of why I feel like there's space for both of these in my collection. I'm very happy to have this really accurate looking Wolfman on my shelf along with this amazing looking Frankenstein and the mummy and all that. And they just look awesome on the shelf. But then I'm also very happy to have a Wolfman that I could pick up and play with. You know, I think that is super dope. And hands down, my favorite thing about the Wolfman figure is definitely the articulation. This has got to be the most fun I've had messing around with the Jada Toys figure. And that's saying a lot because I was a big fan of the Creature figure and I loved the Invisible Man. And I had a lot of fun playing around with both of those figures. But I've got to say, I think Wolfman has both of them beat in the fun factor and posability departments. He just has a lot of good stuff going on. And I feel like with Wolfman... Jada Toys kind of mastered their articulation system, like as it is now. I'm sure it'll improve over time and stuff. But you know, I think he gets the most movement that we've seen out of any Jada Toys figure. So that's awesome stuff. And I'm just having a lot of fun playing around with this figure. So let's go ahead and take a look starting off at the head. He does have movement at the upper neck and at the lower neck. So using both of those, we do get some cool tilt action going. So you could get those attitude shots. And then obviously he can look uh, left to right. So that's nice. He could look up to about right there. I do wish that his head was able to go back just a little bit more, but the collar does kind of hinder the backward movement. But, you know, if you want to get him to, like, look up and howl at the moon or something, you could get some help from the torso. So it's possible. And then he's able to look down to about right there, which, again, I wish he could look down a little bit more, but it is what it is. But still pretty good movement at the head and the neck, so I really like that. And then I love the torso setup. It, it really reminds me of a Mafex figure because he does have a, a diaphragm cut and then a ball joint at the waist. And using both of those, look at this awesome movement. He can move to the side to about right there, which is really nice. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. And then it could go back to about right there, but, you know, then you could you kind of expose the joint in there. So you want to be careful. Without exposing the joint, it goes back to about right there, which is pretty good. But the best part of this 
is how much it goes forward. And that's why this hole is so big, because they left a lot of room for him to crunch forward. And I think it's worth it. Check it out. Boom! That is freaking awesome. I love that. I just wish that he was able to look up a little bit more at the head to kind of make that better. But as it is, you know, you could definitely make it happen. Look at that forward crunch, man. That's awesome. So yeah, none of the Jada figures I've seen so far have been able to crunch forward this much. So I really like what they did here at the torso. And then you could go to the side for those like dynamic kind of uh, poses. Look at that. Boom. I love it. Good stuff at the torso. And then he can swivel at the waist or the diaphragm. So that's cool. Yeah, really good stuff. And then for the arms, they can go all the way around, which is nice. They could come out to the side a pretty good amount. That'll work. And then he does have upper bicep swivel. It's a little tight because of the way it's sculpted, but you could still move it around. It's not as tight as it was on the Invisible Man. You could actually probably go, yeah, you could go all the way around with it if you want. So there you go. And then he does have double jointed elbows that get a really good bend. Boom, look at that. Nice. He has a swivel and a hinge at the wrist. And then for the legs, he does have like this piece that's kind of covering the joints right here. But even with that, you could still get his leg up a pretty good amount. Not a whole lot, but you know. A decent amount. He can kick to the side. So you could get him in those uh, Wolfman ninja action poses. <laughs> Bam! There we go. That'll work. So yeah, pretty good stuff here at the legs. And then he does have upper thigh swivel. Really nice double jointed knee. Oh, look at that. With a really good bend. Boom. Then he does have a swivel right here at the calf. Then he could move his foot forward to right there. He could bring it up to right there. And then he has rocking ankles. So, hell yeah. He's got some really great stuff going on. Look at that. Boom. I love that right there. I love how much forward you could, you could crunch him. That's awesome. So you could get him in those really cool creeping around poses or have him like chasing someone or whatever. So, yeah, I really love the articulation on this guy. Look at that. That's awesome. Like I said, this figure is a whole bunch of fun to play with. This might have to, this might end up being my pocket figure for the whole month of October. <laughs> because, you know, I keep picking him up to play around with them because I'm just so happy with the articulation. And, uh, you know, I don't have a wolf man that's able to pose around this much. Bam, look at that. Awesome stuff in the articulation department. Jada Toys definitely killed it right here. Alrighty, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, I think this is a really, really dope figure. I feel like Jada Toys did an amazing job on it. And, you know, I've got to be honest. If I could kind of, you know, separate <laughs> myself from my attachment to the Invisible Man and just kind of think about it objectively, I would say that the Wolfman is probably the best monster figure that Jada Toys has done so far. And the reason why I say that is because of the fun factor. This guy is such a joy to pose around. He's got a bunch of great articulation. It all works very well. You could get him into those really cool creeping around monster type poses. And he's just fun to handle. So that's really why I'm enjoying this figure as much as I am. And yeah, I think they did a great job with it. He looks really good too. He's got some great sculpting work. Um, some nice paint work. I think he probably could have benefited from just a little bit of shading in the shirt. But aside from that, I think the paint work is really nice on this guy. Everything looks clean and it's well applied and the figure looks great. And he is kind of light in the accessory department. So it would have been nice if they found some other things to throw in there. You know, with the Invisible Man, they really got creative with the accessories. With Wolfman, not so much. But I am happy with what he came with, you know. He came with two different heads and some extra hands and, you know, the bear trap and stuff like that. So he came with some cool stuff, but it would have been nice if they, you know, if they got creative with it like they did with uh, the Invisible Man. Um, but aside from that, I think this thing is awesome. I really, really like what we have going on here. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with this figure uh, this entire month. You know, this whole October, this is going to be my go-to figure to pick up and mess around with or take with me places or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, man, they really killed it. This thing is awesome. 
I'm really looking forward to seeing what Jada Toys does. They do have the Street Fighter figures on the way, and even those look like they're an improvement over these Monsters figures. Like, they have pinless joints, and it looks like maybe some more articulation and things like that. So, I'm really excited to see how those come out, even though I'm not like a big Street Fighter guy, um, you know, for figures that only cost 25 or 20 to 25 dollars i'm willing to buy you know a couple of the characters that i like there's other street fighter lines out there but they're kind of expensive so i've been staying away from it but when i saw the jada toy stuff i was like oh man for 25 bucks or whatever i'll check that out it looks good so i'm excited to see how those turn out and i'm i want to see what else they do you know i would love to see them get more licenses i think it would be really cool for a company like jada toys to do some indie comic stuff you know like uh kind of like what shocker toys had planned to do back in the day before they robbed a bunch of people but you know something like that where they could do things like savage dragon or like uh you know old school like public domain characters you know like <laughs> the black terror or the original daredevil or the heap you know, or things like that, or other independent comic book stuff like The Max or Invincible, that's the, that's, those are the kind of things that I really think need some action figure love, but for whatever reason, no companies want to do it, and I figure, I think a company like Jada Toys can do a great job of giving us, like, those types of figures, so, I don't know, that may just be like a, <laughs> a pipe dream kind of situation, but I think it would be awesome if they, uh, show those types of characters some love but no matter what they do i'm gonna be interested because they're killing it man they're killing it with these monsters it looks like they're killing it with the street fighter so i'm definitely gonna keep an eye on what jada toys does in the action figure department um but yeah man they're killing it so huge thank you to them for sending this out and uh with that i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also, be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that I go live. If you're not aware, I do go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and every Friday at 7 p.m. So come through. Let's talk about toys and get weird. Thank you very much. Peace.